This video is about four serious songs by Johannes Brahms. I will explain the most important things about the work and the composer. Johannes Brahms was a German composer who lived from 1833 to 1897. He is considered one of the most important composers of the Romantic period and created many famous works, including symphonies, piano concertos, and chamber music. Brahms was born in Hamburg and showed an extraordinary musical talent from an early age. He received a comprehensive musical education and quickly became known as a pianist and composer. Brahms later lived in Vienna, where he worked as a freelance composer and created many of his most important works. The four serious songs were written in 1896, shortly before Brahms' death. At that time, Brahms was already seriously ill and had to cope with the death of his close friend, Clara Schumann. In this difficult phase of his life, Brahms set four texts from the Bible to music, dealing with topics such as death, transience, and the search for the meaning of life. The texts are taken from the Old and New Testaments and reflect Brahms' own grappling with these existential questions. The four serious songs consist of four songs for bass baritone and piano. Each song has its own character and mood, which are expressed through the choice of key, tempo, and musical form. The four songs are entitled Denny Esquihet Dem Menschen We Dem Vie, For Man Is Like a Beast, Ich Wand Michigan UND Saan, I Turned and Looked, O oh Todd, We Bitter Best Do, O oh Death, How Bitter Thou Art, and When Ich MIT Menschen UND MIT Angels Ungen Redit. If I could speak with the tongues of men and of angels. The songs are self contained and can also be performed individually, but together they form a unified whole in terms of content and music. In the four serious songs, Brahms uses a very expressive and forceful musical language. The piano accompaniment is often dark and chromatic, with many dissonant sounds and unexpected turns. The vocal part is demanding and requires a singer with a wide range of expression. Brahms uses the possibilities of the human voice to convey the emotions and meaning of the texts. By combining song and piano, Brahms creates a dense and intense atmosphere that captivates the listener. Brahms chose texts from the Bible for the four serious songs, which deal with the great questions of human existence. The first song, Denny Esquihet Dem Menschen We Dem Vie, For Man Is Like a Beast, deals with the transience of life and the equality of all living creatures in the face of death. The second song, Ich Wand Michigan UND Saan, I Turned and Looked, is about injustice and suffering in the world. The third song, O oh Todd, We Bitter Best Do, O oh Death, How Bitter Thou Art, describes the fear of death and the grief at the loss of loved ones. The fourth song, When Ich MIT Menschen UND MIT Angels Ungen Redit, If I Speak with the Tongues of Men and of Angels, emphasizes the importance of love and faith in the face of the transience of life. The four serious songs are considered one of Johannes Brahms' most important vocal works and a high point of romantic song. The work impresses with its musical and textual depth and the masterful setting of the biblical texts. The four serious songs reflect Brahms' own examination of questions of life and death and touch the listener with their sincerity and urgency. The work has lost none of its fascination and impact to this day, and is performed and appreciated by singers and pianists all over the world. The four serious songs were written at a time when Romanticism in music had reached its peak. Brahms stood in the tradition of great German composers such as Bach, Beethoven, and Schumann, and continued their legacy in his own way. At the same time, Brahms was a composer who resisted the musical trends of his time, such as the new German school around Wagner and Liszt, and went his own way. The four serious songs show Brahms as a composer who faced the big questions of life and sought answers in his music. The four serious songs were enthusiastically received by both audiences and critics after their premiere in 1896. The work soon came to be regarded as a masterpiece of the art of song and was performed by many famous singers and pianists. 
Even after Brahms' death, the work remained in the repertoire of concert halls and was repeatedly rediscovered and appreciated. The four serious songs influenced and inspired many composers of the 20th century, including Elben Berg, who refers to Brahms' work in his opera Wozzeck. The four serious songs mark a high point in Brahms's work and show him to be a composer who knew how to utilize the possibilities of the human voice and the piano in a unique way. The work stands at the end of a long tradition of the Romantic art song and at the same time points to the future by opening up new possibilities of expression and expanding the boundaries of the genre. The four serious songs have had a decisive influence on the development of vocal music in the 20th century and are still considered a milestone in the history of song composition.